everyone, it's Delicracy here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be starting just a little mini series. Um, I'm waiting for the new pack Get Famous to come out. And so I thought I would actually record a series um, of how to play The Sims because I've never done that before. And a lot of my videos have comments with lots of questions about how I do, do certain things and how to do what in the game and I just thought, you know what, let's just do like a chilled out series where I can teach you guys how to play the game. And if you already are very familiar with The Sims, hopefully you'll just enjoy starting a basic Sims save file with me and we can just have a bit oh. of fun as per usual. So let's get into it. First of all, this is create a Sim and this is basically uh, where you start your Sim family. So you can make multiple Sims by adding a Sim down here. You can make family. Um, today, we're just going to keep it really simple and just focus on one Sim. So let's name her to begin with. I think we'll go with a female today. So let's just randomize it or you can type in the name you want. Uh, let's just randomize it to the fifth name. So that's one, two, three, four, five because, uh, you know, five is my lucky number. Jayla? Jayla. I don't know if I am saying that right. I better change it to another five. One, two, three, four, five. Megan. Okay, so we're doing Megan. One, two, three, four, five. Megan Lewis. It's a very basic name, but I'm not mad about it. Um, so she's a female. We're going to make her a young adult and we can also pick her walk-in style. So I like to go with something a little bit of feminine. Um, just for a bit of fun, we can change her voice over here. And then we need to get her an aspiration. So I really want her to do really well in life. I think we'll aim to be fabulously wealthy to have a successful career. And uh, maybe we can change that along the way if we want her to change as a personality and maybe want to start a family instead. So we can do that. Let's make her romantic because we're going to want to find her a special someone. Um, she's got to be ambitious. That's going to help her earn some money. And if we're thinking about what we want to do to make the money, maybe we should do something creative so we can get more gameplay instead of sending one sim to work. Uh, which is okay when you have a few sims, I think, but sometimes it gets a little bit boring if you have no sims to play with while she's at work. So then if we click over here onto her body, we can now get the menu where we can dress her. We can change what she looks like. I'm going to click on her face and we can change the skin tone here. So you can even make a blue sim or a red sim. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's maybe give her a deeper skin tone. Sometimes I like to have a picture next to me uh, to kind of work off. I find that helps as well. And I think I want to make a really, really beautiful sim, like a really pretty sim, because you know what, you guys, sometimes making really over the top attractive sims is so much fun because it's just so unrealistic of what most people look in real life. So I think I tend to go for that look sometimes, like really good looking. I know a lot of people like to make their themselves. Uh, I know a lot of us like to make ourselves look a little better looking than we actually are in real life, which I've done it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to lie. So you can make your sim self if you want to. I'm going to really bring her. Oh, I messed up her eyebrows then. So I'm probably doing a very poor job of explaining this, but basically you can pull and push in the face features. And if you double click, um, it'll zoom in and focus on one, one part of the face. You can double click it again to get out. Now, if I want to change the eyes, I'm thinking, you know what? These aren't quite the eyes that I'm wanting. Uh, I can actually just click some preset eyes over here. Oh no, my phone's going off. And we can pick something that we prefer. So I'm actually going to go with no lashes because I do have some custom content, which I'll show you guys in a second. Custom content just means that it's items that have not been made by The Sims game. So if you go online and search custom content, you can actually discover that there's a whole world out there where players have made their own content. For example, hairs and skin details like freckles, um, facial hairs, piercings. There's so much out there that you can download and put in your game. Of course, it's going to be risky sometimes what you download. So do be careful when you do that. And there's tons of tutorial videos out there on how to do that. Um, so I'm not going to show you guys today, but we are going to use a little bit of custom content like the eyelashes and stuff so you guys can see that. And I think I'm going to make her nose a little thicker on the bridge and 
bring this in like that. I wanted to have a cute button nose. Yeah, that's kind of cute. And she's going to have some beautiful cheekbones as well. So yeah, you can just see that I'm clicking in and out to kind of get the face shape that I that I want. And sometimes you're actually going to have to rotate the face to get into certain areas like the jaw. I wanted her to have like a straighter jaw coming down, if that makes sense. Uh, and then her lips, she's going to have fine, juicy lips, the lips that I always wish I had because I have little lips and right now big lips are trending and I'm like, Ugh, why don't I have big lips? And I know people go get fillers and stuff, but I'm just, just not interested in that. I don't, I, it scares me. <laughs> I don't have a problem with it, but it's just not for me. Um, okay, let's just pull that in. She does look a little weird from the side. Is it the nose that looks funny? Oh, well. So there we go. We have our, whoa, we nearly made the eyes way too big then. <laughs> so we have the basic look and feel of our Sim. Now I did say I was going to add a little bit, actually let's make her eyes beautiful and dark. I did say I was going to add a bit of custom content. So my custom content that I really like to use as well as a lot of other players is lashes. So if we go to glasses over here, this is where my lashes are stored. So these are actually called 3D lashes, if you guys want to check check them out. Uh, these are the originals here, and then this is another one that I found that was pretty cool. Uh, let's move her eyes out a little bit like that. I always feel like her lips could be a bit bigger. Let's just go all out. And I almost want her to have even more of an arch in her eyebrows, because I want her to be like look a little bit sassy and pow woman you know she's a young adult right now but she's gonna grow up to be like power mom or something like that okay beautiful you'll also find that as you create sims uh, let's go down to makeup here you'll kind of develop a style for what your sims look like most people have a style and you can also pick out the custom content here because it's got this little tool there in the corner uh, so we might try a few of those but you do develop a style of sim my style a lot of people say that i always make really big mouths and really short faces <laughs> so i don't think it's a bad thing um i just think it's really interesting and some people make really cartoony looking sims like obviously they all look a bit cartoony but yeah i just think it's it's interesting, you know, everyone's a little bit different. Okay, I like that, uh, I like that. Let's go down to lipstick and get some lipstick here. These two are actually a base game update. If you play The Sims, you'll realize that there are a lot of updates um, to the base game that are pretty awesome, that are official, not just custom content, obviously. There's always custom content being made, but it's really fantastic because you can find, um, new things in the game that weren't in the game when you first start playing. So there are updates now and then, and this is one of them, this lipstick, which was made to suit darker skin tones, which I really like, or deeper skin tones, whatever is correct to say. Um, the only issue is we don't have a lot of blush, which is annoying. We can do a bit of a glow though. I like that glow. Cool, so we've got the lips done. We could put in some eyeliner. I mean, she kind of looks good without the eyeliner, I think. I don't, I don't know if she really needs it. Maybe just a little bit of definition could be cool. Even that I'm not that big on. I, I don't think she needs it, you guys. I think she's fine without the liner. Okay, so let's maybe think about the hair. We gotta do something with the hair. I wish there was a nice default purple color. That would be really cool. I'm definitely going with some like Justine Sky vibes here, if you know who she is, um, the singer. This is my all favorite custom content slicked back ponytail look. I love, I love this. The only thing is there's a little error here, which you get with a lot of custom content. So maybe we should just go with kind of like the base game hair up with the fringe that came out not too long ago. All right, so she's just got this base game long hair on. And if we go over to accessories, we could also give her some earrings if we want to. I think she'd look really good with hoop earrings. 
Um, so I'm gonna go ahead with those. Ooh, she does look good. I almost wanna give her a gloss lip now, so let's head back to that. And the good thing is you can keep chopping and changing between what you pick and choose. Um, so there we go. We can also add tattoos if we want to go back to her full body by clicking on the body, or we can do a few skin details. We can even give her braces or a cute little gap tooth if we wanted to do that. Um, so there's a lot of different options. We might, or we can give her acne too, which sometimes I like putting the acne on my sins. Um, sometimes I like that, but I think we'll keep it off for her. Um, this is actually an example of a skin texture that's custom content. So it does give the sim a very different look and feel if you prefer that kind of style. Uh, let's maybe give her some more no, detailing on the skin. Okay, now in terms of body, if you hover over the clothes, you can remove pressing the cross just like that. Um, so you can figure out whether you want your sim to be really muscly, no muscle, uh, more rounded or more slender. And if that's not enough for you, you can actually go to different points of the body and, you know, make them heavier on the bottom half and smaller on the upper half. Like you can create any body shape you want. The only thing you can't do is play with height. So that's the only thing that I wish we had. Um, so let's maybe make her about there. We want to give her a little bit of thigh, a little bit of calf. Um, Bigger feet look better in heels, I think, and I definitely like a little bit of a healthy booty, you know? So there we go, she's uh, she's looking pretty cute, I think. Uh, shoulders look all right. Apparently I always give my sims really broad shoulders because I'm broad-shouldered myself, you know? Anyone else out there, that broad-shoulder life? <laughs> um, cool, all right, now comes clothing. And this is, clothing is really fun. So you can go to pre-made outfits if you want to. So the styled looks over here, if you're really not into dressing your Sims, you can just like try different styles and different colors and you know, mix it up that way. I personally don't like that. And I also dislike that it removes all the makeup. I don't really understand why they did that, but um, yeah. So if you want to choose everything by yourself, you can go to tops, um, bottoms, or full body options. And then over here, you have all your different kinds of clothing categories. So you have your everyday clothes, your formal clothes. Uh, formal is going to be what your sims wear to weddings. Athletic wear for when you work out, go jogging, whatever. Sleep wear, party wear, if you attend a party or have a party. Swimwear for the pool. Hot weather, so if you have the Sims 4 Seasons installed, this is what you wear on a hot day and this is what you wear on a cold day. Furthermore, if you do wanna have different kinds of outfits, you can click on this little arrow here and you can add the plus button to add different outfits. So you might want to wear a green top one day or you might wanna hover over a different swatch here for another day. So there are different swatches on these clothes. So maybe she loves green, but she wants to wear a different top some days. You can totally do that, or you can get rid of the other days if you want to. So let's just, for the purpose of this um, video, let's just pick something pretty easy. So I'm going to go straight to the full body outfits and find something here. Uh, I'm not really a fan of this outfit. So maybe let's keep scrolling down. And these little icons represent the different packs you have installed. Uh, this is kind of cute, but I don't think it really goes with her earrings at all. I love this outfit, actually. This is one of my favorites. This is from Laundry Day Stuff Pack. I think it's really, really nice. And I quite like it, actually, in the plain colors, maybe, for Megan. I mean, the white's kind of cool, as opposed to the pattern. So maybe we'll go with this nice, blushy pink color. That looks kind of cool. And I'm kind of feeling she needs a necklace, so I'm just gonna click back on her face go back to our accessories over here and give her one of these uh, cute necklaces that I, that I think will go with the dress quite nicely. I mean, this gold's a lot more yellow than the earrings, so I feel like we should go with the matching gold. So there we go. Now, if you're wanting bracelets, it's not going to be in the, in the face category. You wanna click on the body and go to accessories from the body menu. For necklaces and earrings, click on the face to go to accessories. For the body accessories go to the body then accessories. Hopefully that makes sense. So we can also give her a nice little 
bracelet. She does like a little bit of bling, this, this one. Now let's also give her some shoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I don't know about those. I'm not, I'm not really feeling those. Maybe we just give her some nice flats. Or she could be the type of girl who wears uh, Converse. You know, a little bit of this. It's kind of cute, sneakers, sneakers and dress. And I might skip the other options and go straight to sleepwear and we'll just pick some nice pajamas for her. So if she wants the bunny slippers, we'll leave her with the bunny slippers. And we might go with this custom content option here. Uh, I mean, what, what's the cutest option? She's looking like a very pink girl, so I feel like we should give her yellow. And these don't really go with the yellow, so let's change them to white. So there we go, you can just click on the item that you want to change. And then these other outfits will change as we need them. So there we go, this is making our sim. If we wanted to add another sim to our household, we just go down to here. We can add a new sim from scratch. We can add a pet if we want to, if you have cats and dogs installed. An occult sim, so a vampire if you wanted to. A sim from the gallery. Or you could even play with her genetics and make her a child or a sibling or a parent. So those are other options as well. But we're gonna, we're gonna leave Megan. I'm actually going to save my sim. So I just clicked on the little, I'll just show that again, the little folder with the arrow. And we're going to call her... Megan Lewis, and we can even enter a description and say my new, my new sim. Hashtag seasons, because I use the seasons pack. Hashtag laundry day, because I use the laundry day pack. And then I can either save it simply to my library so no one else can use it, or I can upload it to the gallery which is an online place where everyone can download Megan and play with her in their game. The only thing is it does have this custom content symbol here because I did use some custom content and that just means that anyone who downloads it, they won't get the custom content unless they already have that on their computer system. So they won't have Megan with her lashes unless they already have the lashes. So you can still download it fine. Um, but it's just a little warning, I suppose. And that's it, you guys. So if you enjoyed this little tutorial, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when we have the next tutorial uploaded. And in the next part, we'll start Megan off in her new life. We'll build or buy a starter home, furnish it a little bit and get her started. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely morning. After your evening, wherever you are in the world, I will speak to you soon.